Today I'm at a park and I'm installing my front license plate. It's the law in California that you need to have a front license plate. Up till this point, I haven't had it on there because I didn't want to bother with it because the front bumper looks so nice on a Tesla and it's clearly designed to not have a front plate, which a lot of states, that's fine. That's the case. You don't need a front plate, but in California you do at least until that gets changed or something. But for right now, it's the law. You can get a ticket for it, not having it but I don't want to drill my bumper. Tesla wants you to drill your bumper. Well, maybe they don't want you to, but that's the option they give you, bracket and everything, but it's just made to drill into the front bumper. So that's kind of what they expect. If you want to follow the law, you drill the front bumper. Now that's not uncommon for other car companies as well. A lot of them, you just drill the front bumper. It's what it is and then it's there forever because you have to have the front plate. But a lot of Tesla owners would rather take photos and take videos without the front plate or just drive all the time without a front plate and risk it. So I've already mentioned that drilling is the option that Tesla provides, but actually upon further inspection of the plate that it comes with, it's actually relying on double back tape. So if you look at the plastic piece it comes with, it actually has three strips right there that you can peel off and then it's sticky right there. So that wouldn't necessarily damage your bumper in the way that a drill would, but you're not gonna be able to remove it and put it back on like you would with the Quick Bandit if that's the option you're looking for. With this, once it's on there, it's on there. And if you do need to take it off eventually, if the law changes or something, you'll be able to get it off. I'm sure the adhesive might damage the paint in some way, but hopefully it would be able to come off. But if you're wanting to remove this at all or just be safe with your bumper, even the adhesive is not the way to go. So what I did is I waited for this product to be available. It's called the Quick Bandit, and it's by 1975 Creations. You can check out their website, 1975creations.com, and it's linked below, but essentially they make these front plate holders for Teslas that quickly come off. And they don't damage the front bumper whatsoever. They actually don't even touch the front bumper. They make a few other products, but this is the main product that they make. And today I'm gonna check it out and install it. Uh, again, with the unboxing, it has that whole feeling of it being from a company that you want to support. It's from Tony himself. He has a note in there and it just makes you want to support this company because you know it's someone designed this for Tesla owners. They're a Tesla owner themselves as opposed to it just being whatever knockoff brand on Amazon. Now I'll remind you again at the end of the video, but if you're already considering buying this, you can head to 1975creations.com, which is linked in the description below, and you'll get 10% off if you use my discount code, which is Ryan Shaw. So in the box, you essentially just get the Quick Bandit itself, along with the four mounting screws for the actual plate itself, and then a tool that's a specific tool that does the locking maneuver on there, which I'll explain in a second. So this is the install of the Quick Bandit. It's super, super quick. It just installs into that front vent on the bottom of the Model Y. Essentially, you just line it up with the middle vent. It fits right in there and you pull down the little lever and it locks in there. You can feel that it is snug and secure in there. It's really a great, easy fit. And you can tell this thing is sturdy. I will say, I noticed right out of the box, I saw it and thought, this is plastic. I wonder if this is maybe gonna break because it does rely on this arm that's sticking out in front of the bumper to have the plate there. But as soon as you touch it and kind of try to bend it a little bit, you see that it's super high quality, really great materials. As they talk about, it's CNC machined, which I don't entirely know what that means, but it's better than being 3D printed. So the nice thing about this is that it comes off super easily. So you could just stop there, but obviously you're gonna wanna lock it in there to be extra safe that it really stays. And then also make sure that no one steals it. So at first I thought it was kind of a downside that you had to have a specific tool to lock this. But then I realized it's a mechanism that makes it so that someone can't steal it very easily. They have to have this really specific six-sided tool with the point in the middle that's open if they actually wanted to take this plate off. And so this is something I'll just keep in my car at all times. So if I'm going somewhere and I wanna film a video and I don't want the plate there, or I'm driving somewhere where it's legal to do so, then I'll just take it off. So the process of taking it off, I would just unscrew that screw, which is like the safety lock screw. And then you pull the lever and it comes right off. Super, super simple. So that's really the whole process of what this is. It's a super simple thing, but it's a super specific thing for Teslas so that you can put the plate on there and also remove it when you want to fairly easily and it doesn't damage the bumper whatsoever. A lot of accessories for the Model Y are cool and they add cool features, but they're not essential. But this one, if you wanna follow the law in your state, if it's required, I think this is essential so that you don't damage your front bumper. So there it is, the Quick Bandit. I absolutely love it. If you wanna check it out and buy it for yourself, again, it's linked in the description below, 1975creations.com. 
And if you use my discount code, Ryan Shaw, you'll get 10% off. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to this channel for lots more updates about Tesla and tech in general, and specifically getting more in depth about the Model Y and accessories like this video. Make sure to like this video if you appreciated it. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Shaw Tech, and check out my main channel, Ryan Shaw. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.